Uh, we are delighted to welcome uh, to our summit uh, Leah Korsgaard, editor in chief at Zetland. Uh, Leah will share with us why and how uh, Zetland decided to respond to its members' requests to deliver audio stories instead of text stories. Uh, how are you today, Leah? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. It's such an it's such an honor to to come right after Nick. I'm a, I'm a huge fan, so it, it was great to listen to him. As as I just said, it, it's really an honor to to uh, come right after Nick um, because um, everything he writes is on my uh, syllabus for 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 reading. So so it, it was it was really a pleasure to listen to his um, his insights into the business. First and foremost, I'm I'm the co-founder and editor in chief of of um, of Zetland, um, and we have a lot of experience with um, with um, not leaving text, but mixing text and audio. So that's what I want to tell you guys about uh, for the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Um, our audio driven model, um, the strategy behind it, uh, how it came to be and how it works. And um, also just a few notes on, on how the future might look like for, for our audio model. So first and foremost, this is Settlement. Um, I just wanted to, to um, give you a picture of, of who we are. This is when we launched our digital newspapers almost five years ago in 2016. Um, we, we, um, we launched Settlin as a digital born newspaper that cuts through the noise, um, that doesn't uh, run after breaking news, that doesn't um, tell people what happened five minutes ago, because we think that today the, the modern media use of um, has one big problem, and that is uh, 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 the the lack of media who who cut through the noises who out there and and try to focus on only what's important, um, not give a bunch of information, but give only the information that you actually need to know right now. So that is our promise. We publish very um, little a day, but what we publish is is important and um, well researched. Um, we have a an, an almost intimate relationship with our members, as we call our subscribers. These uh, this is to our launch party. They came by. Uh, in Denmark, we sing a lot. We sing a lot. lot. At least we do that at, at Settland. So, so th this is during a um, a sing along. Also, sometimes we have these huge uh, live events um, where we not only tell stories from estates, but also, uh, which is very important, talk to our members, get to know them, listen to them. Um, what do they think of media today? What do they miss in journalism? How do we um, play a key role in their lives? What? How can we serve their need for information and knowledge and curiosity the best? <laughs> so it's it was while listening to to our um, our members that we back in two thousand and seven thought that our text medium was not um, uh, actually didn't didn't solve. Uh, one of the, the major problems that they had. They they liked our text, um, they liked our article, they liked our content, but as they told us, it's also quite long, and I'm a busy person. Um, I like audio, so what if you guys read your articles aloud, made it into audio version, so that I could either read when that suits me the best, or listen to the article when that suits me the best, when I'm on my bike to work, for instance. And we thought it was a great idea. So, um, so we launched from a very, very tiny studio. With it, it, this is this is a picture of the studio, and it still looks like this today, which is actually kind of a problem. It's, it's a growing problem because we have so little little space. But from this studio, we launched. Um, um, we we tried it out at first. Tried 
um, converting some of our text articles into audio by simply reading them aloud, letting the journalist behind the story read the read the story aloud and and uh, and make it into an audio version. And from the very beginning, it 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 really took off. Um, this is I hope that you can see this um, this graph. Um, it shows if if you look at the from the very beginning back in 2007, you can see that is when we launched um, um, audio examples of our article, when we read one article a day aloud in an audio version um, and and was only publishing those stories on, on a desktop. We didn't have an app at that time. Um, but it but it took off and, and people actually really, really liked the, the audio version. So then in, in the summer of 2000, 2017 we launched our app so so uh, of course Setland is a is a um is um um is is paid for by members we don't have our uh, content out in 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 uh, in podcasts app so you have to go onto the app and pay for it in order to to listen to it so when we launched launched the app back in 2017 it just immediately took off um and and this is the radio of articles consumed via audio via audio by paying members. So you can see now in in the in the fall of two thousand and twenty, almost eighty percent, sometimes almost eighty five percent of our content is actually consumed through the ears. So we're still a text based uh, newspaper, but the way people like to consume us is through their ears which is really interesting, I think. And for us, this, this strategy has, has been essential to our growth. Um, we reached break even last year, and I think we haven't done that without, without the, the, the audio strategy. Today, we have 17,000 paying members. And I think what's more important is that 30% of our paying members are under the age of 30 and 77% 70, uh, below the age of 45, which at least in Denmark is, is crazy numbers because it's it's uh, mostly uh, men uh, men older than 60 um, who, who, who pay for, for news in, in Denmark, uh, roughly said. So, so these are really numbers that we are proud of. And I think um, audio is, is central in, uh, in, in order to reach this, this young demographic. Um, so let me just show you or, or try to show you the app since, since, as I said, you can't listen to our stories out in a, um, in, in any podcast, app, podcast app, you have to have our app in, in order to, uh, to listen to our content. Um, and we built it in order to really mix text and audio in a seamless way. Um, let me show you. This is so. This is when you meet us. When you open the app, um, it shows right at the beginning. You can also listen to us. Um, so there's a story. If you click on the headline, you get the text version. If you click on the play button, you get the audio version. You can um, it like in an audio app. You can save content for later. Uh, you can make your own listen list. Um, you the when you have consumed an article um it disappears so that the 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 app knows your um what what you have consumed so so it doesn't bother you with stuff that you already used um and um and of course important you can read half of the story for instance while drinking coffee in the morning and then when you're out on your your commuter train you can click on the play button and then you get the rest of the story in in an audio version so the app finds it's it finds where where you where you left the the article which is important i think uh, in order to to signal to our members this is um this is one product but you can consume it in the in the way that suits you the best um also we have we we sh we show people which we really try when when we build our ux experience to um nudge people to read when that's suitable for them and to to listen when that's suitable for them and and really try to to um 
learn them that this is not um, that this is a newspaper meet your podcast app. Um, yeah, so we, we we put a lot of energy into into technology and, and building the the US experience because it's a it's a new thing um, that customers are not used to. So. Um, let me just put some some words on how we go about it, um, because I think one thing is is publishing your content in audio. The other thing is what does that, how does that affect the content in itself? Um, at least in our experience, it's not just going into the studio and reading the article. Um, the, the very notion that someone is going to listen to the story does something to the text in itself. At least it should do, I think. So um, workflow first. And a journalist writes an article. Um, it's edited, it's um, fact-checked like any other story we do. And um, when it's done, um, the the journalist him or herself goes into the studio and uh, reads the story and edit it um, herself or, or himself it's quite simple um sometimes the the the, the stuff uh, fucks up for people but it's very rarely and and it's so so it's it's a very lean process we put not that many resources into this, into um, as you can see the the studio or the 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 experience of of reading the story aloud. It's it's very simple, but it works and um, and it's it's enough for for the quality to be good enough to uh, to be listened to. Um, also, I I can't help but note I think it helps that we have a quite young newsroom that our journalists, uh, most of them are below the age of 40. And I think that helps in order to, uh, to, to do all the, 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 um, the required editing them themselves. Um, it's, it's, it's quite easy, easy to learn uh, how to do that. Um, and, um, and then when it comes to tone of voice, as I said before, um, a text is a different thing than a um, um, a great audio experience. Um, you have to write shorter sentences. You have to make sure that your listener um, is still with you. You have to sum up way more, I think, than you do in a in a text version. Um, making sure that uh, people get the, the key points of the article and making sure that, okay, so now we know this, so now we can move on with, uh, with, an, with another uh, angle, for instance. Um, the tone of voice, I think, in order to make it work, has to be way more uh, conversational. So for us, it's totally okay to start an, a newspaper article with the words, so okay, yesterday... The mayor of Copenhagen, blah blah blah. Um, we're not an anchor with suits and tie, um, telling telling the news to our audience. Audi to 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 our audience, we are a we're your best friend down at the bar, telling what's what's important to know right now. Um, and I think audio has really helped us shape this kind of tone of voice. Uh, without audio, we would still be way more conversational, I think, than, than many other news outlets. But, but audio has really um, focused our energy uh, into building this, this um, friendly, um, curious tone that, that, that really um, um, makes our content stand out, I think, in, 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 in comparison to, to lots of um, classic news um, content. And what I think is great about that, except for the fact that it that it 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 um, it's a way more um, it's a way better audio experience to to listen to someone telling a story than reading a story aloud. It also it it also comes with um, loyalty opportunities, with trust opportunities, with relationship 
opportunities because the, it's not an actor who who uh, reads our stories it's the journalists him or herself um and just the sheer fact of having the journalist behind the story in your ear um sometimes telling you or often actually telling you why this story is so important why um the journalist couldn't fall asleep yesterday because he or she was so agitated about this story that is the kind of thing I think that today builds loyalty and builds trust. It's not sounding like the the, the classic uh, TV anchor or radio anchor in in in, in the radio, um, sounding super authoritative. On the, quite contrary, it's sounding um, like a human. And today, at least among the the young demographic, I think that the human part in news. Um, in news production is key if we want to establish relationships with our um, audience audience, and in our case actually um, make them pay for the content. So so audio in that sense has not only been a been a major has not only played a major role in, in how you consume Settlement today, it has also played a major role in the in the in the way we connect with our members, um, being uh, the humans that we are, not the the um, super um, classic journalists. Um, and perhaps, actually, I think that's that's the most important part when um, when um, when thinking about making an audio strategy using that opportunity, except also for building great technology um and that was my main points so um i don't know if, if there's any questions i can i'd be more than happy to share every number or um or we, we have no secrets at setland uh, not 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 as far as i know though so so you can you can ask me about anything i'll see if i yes. can answer uh, hi Leah. how are you hi. yes we have uh, some questions for you uh mm -hmm. one is from julie lelier Julie asks, so uh, do they rewrite the article after reading it, or is the text from the article and the audio version is not exactly the same? So the 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 text is actually it for in most cases the text is exactly the same. Then we have two um, two other formats. We also have a news podcast, as uh, Nick told you you about before the 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 the, the daily inspired news podcast that co co news podcast that come out every day at at uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, and the news podcast is is produced with with audio in mind as um, as the first thing and then it then it also comes out in a shorter format in a shorter format as um, as text but it, it's not one to one um, and then we also have some other um, more podcast ish genres that come out with a text version but it's again it's not it's not uh, one to one but uh, but um, most of our content is is you can you can read it or you can listen to it and the 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 version would be the same thank you leah we have another question from lee c jong uh lee would like to know i mean uh, could leah be able to provide some details uh for example how the app allows this seamless transition from text to audio into the app. <laughs> Sure, sure. Well, I, I, I'm not an engineer, so I can't, um, I, I can't explain what what technology is behind it. But, but uh, I can tell you how it works. So it simply works the way you take your app, you read the article, and then you stop one third down, um, and then you can click on the play button, put put your earphones in your ears, and the app will find the place where you left off. Um, and actually, I know from our engineers that it's it sounds complicated, but it was super simple to build. And and uh, they they'd probably be happy to share the code if if anyone wants to uh, take a look. So uh, well, there are not not more questions, but I have one, Leah, because yeah. I started out my career uh, as a journalist in radio. 
So uh, my question is if your journalists are trained, uh, because you know that it's important, uh, the melody, the tone of voice to engage with your audience, uh, your mm, listeners right now. So they are, I mean, they are, they are coming from a radio background. They receive some training in, in voice or uh, melody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so most of our journalists come from text. They come from a classic newspaper background. But so, so we train them, um, and and we try to train them not to sound as they do in the radio, um, which has made it a little hard to find the the perfect uh, coach because in you know the, the, there's a lot of uh, uh, voice coaches out there, but they think that that uh, that the ideal is to sound like like radio but but we have found a, a great coach that uh, that teaches our um, journalists to to sound like themselves so yeah they are trained and now we're in I, I'd say we're we, we, we are in the beginning of a chapter two of the audio strategy where we have hired um, audio producers and uh, music people and um uh, and people who, who come from audio uh in order to to enhance the the audio versions yeah thank you so much for answering my question leah and sure. thank you so much for being here today it was a pleasure to see you again this time yeah, hopefully, but uh, hopefully next time in person sure. thanks for having me <laughs> great day back to vera yes uh, thanks a lot, Leah. That was really, really interesting. And uh, I can see in the chat there's a lot of curiosity about this feature that allows everyone to switch from reading the story to suddenly uh, listening to it. And uh, some interesting exchange is going on also in the chat, so don't miss that part.